Peace, love, and light, Pisces. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Pisces, thank you for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. We're on the road to 10K. Thank you for your support in getting there. Personal readings are being offered at this time. All information can be found in the community tab as well as the description box. Let's get into your messages. <coughs> Happy Leo season, Pisces. Ooh, Empress and a king of pentacles you know this empress energy has been showing quite a bit earth energy abundance energy uh an energy of stability also showing up <clears throat> let's adjust this so that way you'll be able to see a little bit better an energy of abundance definitely pentacles and the empress okay let's see what's showing up for you um happy leo season pisces <clears throat> leo season is about uh finding the courage to let your light shine uh it's about showing out showing up um it's also about your creativity so there may be something there for you in terms of um creating something creating a project creating perhaps uh something at work possibly in your work environment for the people that you work with uh, you could be seeing that you have a lot more ideas. A lot of creative ideas may be coming up for you at this time. Messages for Pisces, Spirit. Hmm, ten of Swords. So it's also the end of something. So while there's possibly some beginning showing up for you uh, for Leo season, uh, this season is also going to be emphasizing an end to something. This could also be worry and end. Hmm. The moon card. Uh, the full moon, I believe, is a full moon happening currently. The full moon may also emphasize this ending as well as a beginning in something. So there may be um, an emphasis on the end of... Mm. the end of a relationship or the uh you ending something uh in the matters of the heart there could have been a lot of uh energy surrounding this ending uh the full moon may emphasize um releasing this energy and while this energy is being released i'm also seeing that your creativity is going to be highlighted uh, Ace of Wands. So you may find that a lot of the ideas that you've been thinking about, you're able to actually uh, move forward with them. You're able to come up possibly with a plan. Like I'm seeing you materialize a lot of a lot of what was in your mind is going to be materialized. Possibly, uh, this may mean that these ideas may go from like just you know thoughts that you have and you start writing them seeing a lot of emphasis on your creative ideas i'm also seeing that you're you know this <clears throat> you may actually uh stop doubting yourself i'm seeing uh you exude a lot more courage i'm seeing you uh show up in your strength and uh this is gonna do a lot for you for this season this energy of duality is showing up in the strength card and this energy of duality is also showing up in the number two here which is the two of swords um there could have been something keeping you stuck and i'm seeing it's possible that uh this this energy some 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 tie that you may have severed some connection could have kept you uh stuck in your mind quite a bit 
And this energy of being stuck in your mind is showing up here as like a crossroad. Like, you know, feeling like you're in one place, you're trying to move forward and you're not quite sure where to go. There could be that energy. Now, the good news about this energy is that uh, whatever uh, your, your passion, what you do, whatever gives you strength, and I'm seeing it's your creativity for many of you, uh, your creative product projects uh, are what's going to help you to build some sort of like stamina uh, possibly to get over something or someone um, and really put you back on track, put you back on track to who you really are, which is this uh, Queen of Cups showing up. This is a side of you that's showing up that's also going to be emphasized during this season. And this Queen of Cups has a strong energy of like intuition. And I'm also seeing this intuition show up with the moon card here. So uh, trust your intuition, trust your your thoughts, whatever thought process, your instincts, your feelings, your gut feelings are going to be really important. And and that's part of what Leo season is about. Like if you really think about a lion and how a lion moves on instinct like a lion's ability to thrive uh d really depends on their ability to also trust their instinct and it's like you're in this energy of like really honing in to your primal instinct your spirit guides are telling you there's no time for you to doubt yourself at this time and so whatever you get to do to release an energy of doubt you get to also do that because um it's there's some things that are going to be revealed now i'm seeing the moon show up in the upright usually that means you know that there may be some secrets uh and in this case because the ten of swords showed up with the moon card this means that there's going to be an end to possibly something that was hidden it could be something that was hidden within it could be something uh that has been kind of like you know posing a threat to you moving forward um successfully and also showing up so whatever it is that's posing itself as a potential threat i'm seeing that there's going to be an end to that and for some of you what poses a threat is some energy of something that you ended with someone you severed ties you walked away you stopped talking to this person that energy is showing up really strong and that in itself releasing that energy is gonna open like the way to a lot more creatively it's going to open up uh pathways it's going to open up pathways to your intuition which is also tied to your creativity here you are showing up as this queen of cups um really in touch with your heart chakra also in touch with um especially in touch with your intuition there's also an aspect of like a nurturing energy showing up here And I've been seeing a lot of like this earth energy show up for you. Like the Empress showed up, the Knight of uh, Pentacles showed up. So earth energy is about like grounding yourself. Okay. Uh, bring it, bring it back to base, bringing it back to the earth, like uh, reminding yourself of, of this energy of being planted. Uh, because if your, if your foot, or you know if they if your feet are not planted some possibility that you can go back you know in your mind again you could go back to kind of like really thinking quite a bit and possibly hindering something that the universe could be trying to uh <clears throat> gift you with okay some some gifts all right so i'm seeing here this death and rebirth card now 
mm, there's possibly something showing up with a cancer pisces scorpio heavy emphasis on the scorpio in this case you may have severed ties with this person uh the moon, wow that's so interesting so there may be something revealed about the reasons behind this or uh you just may have a lot more clarity in terms of like you know being able to see clearly um being able to see this situation putting it into perspective enough so that way you know you are in tune with the truth of the situation um there's also this energy of self-deception so i'm not sure if that's look at that the moon and hmm. someone could have someone could have deceived themselves into thinking that they were betrayed it could be you it could be someone else uh i'm seeing that this energy may may relate to someone actually being uh, persuade into thinking that they were deceived so there could have been some someone behind this energy of deception okay and i'm seeing that this could have to do with uh you know some someone doing spell work to kind of like break ties between two people uh one of which is showing up in the nine of pentacles uh, this nine of pentacles may, may be you, uh, or it may be someone else that you, you know, cut ties with. Uh, 1155, 1155, one is beginning, five is change. So this moon energy that's showing up, this may be this current full moon energy that we're in. Um, it's really emphasizing a lot of turnaround, things turning around, things changing, um, changing, having a clear perspective. Tell me about this moon card. Yeah. So what's going to be revealed are possibly reasons, uh, you know, some of you may get more information regarding uh this energy of someone feeling betrayed it could have been you that's feeling betrayed it could be this person that's showing up um that you possibly severed ties with or walked away from uh someone yeah so this queen of pentacles here showing up someone who is lazy da, 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 da. okay i'm not really getting that energy um, it could be that this three of swords is connected to this energy of inability to move forward because it's like while the pentacles energy is about creating abundance, being able to create, this is emphasizing an inability to move to create what you will. And this three of swords may have something to do with that. Um, what's going to help you move forward is whatever you do creatively okay uh bring those ideas into fruition bring them into the physical because that's going to help you deal with whatever energy that's uh that's that's showing up as you know kind of like keeping you stuck um that may be in your mind your spirit guides are telling you it's time to transition. It's time to move forward or move away from uh, the old. Find the strength. Okay, your spirit guides are telling you to find the strength to deal with this energy of, uh, you know. Mm. And I'm also hearing something about, I'm hearing something about self-sabotaging, self-deceit. So someone may actually be operating in in kind of like a state of illusion maybe not seeing things very clearly perhaps that's what's keeping someone stuck um trusting your intuition is going to be key here you see it's going to help you to rise above the situation uh and also bring you victory in many sense of the word see the cherry card showing up for you again things are becoming a lot more clear for you and i'm seeing the more the clearer they are 
the better it is for you in terms of like being able to move forward especially uh during this particular season uh let's see what's this uh what card is showing up yeah i'm seeing a some very strong king of cups energy trusting your intuition king and queen of cups water energy your spirit guides are reminding you that water nurtures the earth so this i believe this moon energy is about earth so uh use water to emphasize the abundance okay your spirit guides are reminding you that you are a sorceress of light okay and i'm seeing the moon energy emphasize again so let's see 40 let's look at 40 so 40 is saying this okay so um ask for healing mentoring or assistance to support you now this support will help you feel stronger more empowered to deal with any challenge and be reassured that your spirit guides can handle it so yeah there's some healing taking place after having dealt with a possible um tie that was severed and for some of you it was recent for some of you it could have been quite a while ago it says here uh this oracle brings a sign that creative works will reach fulfillment you see that that's confirmation healing something is also going to bring your creative works to fulfillment trust with relax with trust that the positive expectations that all your needs will be met okay so your needs are being met especially um your something that you do creatively is helping you to heal in order for you to move forward that is the message pisces if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace divine light